In this video, you'll learn some high energy string bending ideas, which you can use for powerful licks and solos. <laughs> Hey there, this is James for James Chipway Guitar, and thanks for tuning in to another one of my video guitar lessons. Today we're going to be looking at a couple of unison bending ideas, and these are a powerful and commonly used device, which I'm sure you'll find a handy addition to your playing. Now you might be wondering what a unison bend is, so let's take a look at a simple example. I'm playing in the key of C-sharp minor up here at the 9th fret, and I'm just going to use my C-sharp minor pentatonic scale. <laughs> I'm going to grab the G string at the 11th fret, I'm going to bend it up 2 frets. Then I'm going to kill it off and I'm going to play the B string at the 9th fret with my 1st finger. And that is a unison bend. Now in music when we're talking about unison, we're basically talking about the exact same note. And what we're doing here is we're bending this note up to here. Then we're playing that same note on the next string without a bend. So we're kind of like playing the same note round and round. It's just we're using a bend in the first time to get the sound of that note. It's a common part of many classic guitar solos and licks and it's something which you definitely want to be using when you're playing. I'm going to show you another handy unison bend idea from that scale shape and then I'm going to show you a whole bunch of ideas you can use to create some cool licks of your own. So we're going to bend up the 12th fret on the B string, I'm going to bend up two frets. Now I'm going to kill it off and then go to the top E at the 9th fret. Let's talk about this killing off thing I'm, I keep mentioning because this is really important. And what it is, it's using our right hand here to silence the bend before we move to the next note. So we don't get this. Or, it's a really important little technique. So my right hand just kills it off before I move to the ninth fret note there. So we've got two unison bending ideas coming from our C sharp minor scale. Obviously you want to make sure you're bending the note up enough so it's in tune. We don't want anything like that. So make sure you're pushing the bend up enough. Also make sure that you can find those licks in the scale shape when you move it to other keys. For example, down in G, I find it here. That will mean you can use these ideas in all sorts of different songs and musical settings. Hope you're enjoying the lesson. Stay tuned to find out how to supercharge your guitar playing with a free VIP pass to my exclusive members only area. Now the cool thing is that it's really easy to make up some of your own licks using these unison bending ideas. So let me show you a few examples to get you started. I'm going to take the G and B string unison bend here. I'm going to bend the G string up two frets. Then I'm going to play the B string note twice. And I'm going to play it in a triplet rhythm like this. One and a two. I'm alternate picking that lick. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that works for me, but if you find a way you prefer, then you might want to use that way. It sounds good kind of looped around like a sort of repeating lick. Create some excitement and momentum in your solo. And what's really cool about that idea is it can be easily moved across onto the B string and the top E string. So you kind of get two licks for the price of one. We can also use these unison bends to create a double stop bend. So here we're going to pick both strings together and then do the bend like this.
Try and keep this first finger note still. If it goes up with the bend, you'll get this. Won't sound very nice, so you need to think about anchoring that finger so it doesn't move up and follow the bending finger. This can also be transferred easily to the next two strings. This is a very common guitar technique which we hear a lot in the playing of guys like Jimi Hendrix, Slash, Zach Wilde and all those other kind of blues rock based players. We can also combine the different bends to make up one lick. For example, maybe I do the first bend twice and then I go to the next bend. And we'll turn up picking that down, up, down, up, all the way. Of course, you can experiment with different combinations. You could do the first one once and the second one once. And any other ideas that you discover as you experiment. So there you go, you got a couple of cool unison bending ideas there which you can take and start using in your solos and licks. If you like this lesson then I'd like to offer you a free VIP pass to my exclusive members only area. There you'll find a power pack of my very best lessons waiting for you. Boost your playing technique and speed with my Chop Builder series, explode your soloing skills with my improvisation bootcamp lessons and a lot more. Grab your pass and get instant access right now simply by clicking the link underneath this video. Okay, that's all from me today. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you got something useful from this lesson and I'll see you next time.